Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how I declutter and organize my little pantry in my small apartment So this is it. The pantry is behind me and uh, it doesn't even look like a pantry because there is everything in there and this guy is gonna be helping me out because he's awake and we have to tackle it right now Let's see how that's gonna go but let me show you where I have food in my kitchen currently because it's like all over the place and of course I'm gonna show you the, the pantry so are you ready Ta -da -da! <laughs> wow if you think I never in years went through this you're wrong because I did and I know what I have in there pretty much I definitely can do some decluttering it's just that so many things just don't belong in here i want this to be my food storage because let me show you leonardo we're we gonna show them where are we keeping our food all over the place right so i have food in here a lot of stuff then i do have food in here all over the place and there is food on top of the fridge and yes it's quite dirty over there Right now, using my tripod, I can see all the dirt. I also have food in here. So, Leonardo, what do you say? Are we gonna organize it well? You just wanna hold my camera, right? Let's try it, let's try. What do you think? Can we organize this uh, any better? I think we can. Let's do it, let's do some decluttering. And in case you are new here, welcome first of all. My name is Karina, I'm a full-time mom. I have a three and a half year old daughter and a one year old boy who you just saw. And here on my channel, I share my experience, ideas, tips and tricks to try and make motherhood and fatherhood a bit easier on you. And I post every single Thursday. Subscribe, hit the bell icon to so don't miss out on my new content going live. Also, leave me a comment down below. Are you interested in this kind of decluttering, organizing videos, maybe cleaning videos, any other content you'd like to see from me? I would love to read through your suggestions and any other comments you wanna leave me, I would love to chat. So let's begin this project. This is not gonna be the perfect organization decluttering video, which is actually my first decluttering video ever. Um, definitely not the last one. I think I'll be doing more of those. I just hope that this serves as motivation for you to declutter your own space because this brings so much more peace and makes your life easier and that's what I'm all about here on this channel so I just hope you'll get motivated and get to decluttering your kitchen your junk drawers anything just declutter one little thing in your house and you're gonna feel so much better like decluttering is actually like one of my favorite things to do out of all the things on the planet to be honest because it's just I can breathe again you know so let's try together if you never try decluttering anything meaning like actually going through every single thing in one drawer one closet one pantry and making it look nice and leaving the things that you actually need that are not expired and that are useful to you everything else is trash or donation that's it i've been trying to be more intentional with this lately and i've been getting lots of benefits yeah my baby is not in the mood today <laughs> He's not feeling well, he might be teasing, and I did not have a good night, neither today, nor yesterday. I know, Poppy, I know. I'll hold you now, okay? I don't know where all this stuff is gonna go yet, but it definitely shouldn't be in the pantry. I don't have any particular plan, and I did not get like a ton of organization stuff. I don't have labels, I don't have anything like that. I got a couple of like baskets and containers from Dollar Tree because I didn't feel right now that I can spend or want to spend a lot of money on pantry organization because I think it can look much better just by doing some work to it without all the fancy stickers and dividers which maybe I'll get dividers one day. And there's just a ton of bags and a ton of towels like where do you keep your kitchen towels i think i'm gonna put them in one of the drawers and then oils and whatnot some exercising equipment cookbooks and manuals and instructions and everything we have to find its home eventually but today we're just gonna concentrate on organizing the pantry making it a food storage that is supposed to be uh so yeah let's get into it my little helper is starting to declutter this is his favorite 
part of helping mama taking everything out so that's exactly what i need leonardo good job oh you found some more food in there um. this is gonna be fun everything I left here some of those containers I got from Dollar Tree and some baskets that I'm planning to use I obviously need to clean this area on the bottom that was heavily cluttered and this looks so neat and so nice and uh, yeah I put everything here and I'm gonna leave on this side just what have to actually go back in there and uh, take out some more stuff from other drawers and keep all the food in here and then all this gonna have to be decluttered I actually don't have enough space here on the counter to put everything I have to put in the pantry so let me work through this stuff first so I'm actually gonna go ahead and take one of these baskets that I got thinking about putting in here snacks and you guys this is my third coffee already that's how bad I was sleeping oh. so I thought I'll put like chocolates and stuff like that that we usually get from Costco and some of them are packaged like these keto chocolates which are a good alternative for you know the chocolate it's healthy and obviously it's not very sweet Michaela loves it and I obviously pretend like no it's like a sweet treat and a special thing and you can have too much because it's still you know candy uh, but whenever I give it to her, I know that it, it's okay for her, so, um, you know, she can have it. But the problem is, they're falling out of here. Okay, I guess I'll use it for something else. Trial and error. Trial and error over here. Well, I do have his rice scissors. Or maybe these will stay in. Maybe I'll keep them in here at least. Let's just put something in here to start I have this one I don't know well I think let's see if it works for chocolates but it should maybe work better for the apple sauces so I can get rid of the, of the box and so I can refill it easy and my daughter can grab it easy okay let's see well yeah they're gonna fall out from here so let's try filling it up with apple sauces. We just got a box from Costco, that's why, but they're gonna be gone very quick. I'm always saying like, I'm gonna buy her jarred applesauce and don't let her waste these little ones like that are good for the on the go. But she just always wants an apple sauce as a snack at home and then she takes them to daycare. Well, I think I can fit a little more in here. So I ended up filling up two containers like this. So this is one. And I'm just gonna keep it, I don't know, maybe here for now. She can reach over there. And then in the second one, I actually put also some of her milk that she takes to go sometimes. And one juice that is left. We don't usually do juice. This is like a treat for her. 
But this is taking up so much space over here. I don't even know you guys. Uh, I mean, we'll see. And let's see what's next. I'm very eager to transform my rice into some kind of container uh, because this uh, system is not working well. You see, we have so much stuff that is open, like these little noodles, we use it like literally once a year pretty much for a special Christmas rice and um, like I'm not gonna create a whole separate container for these because this is not something we like use every single day, I don't know, like this arborio rice, uh, this is not a staple but we have some left and maybe one day I decide to make another risotto so I'm just gonna keep them like this and then I have some lentils here, not the best idea I know, I know but I'm just gonna keep it like that and it's gonna be already better than it was so that's the whole goal here and hopefully one day I will go through all of it again and make a very functional and very organized and um, Pinterest perfect pantry hopefully because I do want that I'm sure that's very helpful thank you Leonardo for a cracker but yeah let's continue let's continue mm-hmm actually decided to go with bigger items right now these are great from Costco discontinued in my state so we grabbed two Leonardo and I really like them and they're bulky so I guess I'll put like extras because I do have whenever we buy at Costco like extra bags maybe it's on sale or anything like that or like it comes with like two bags like our favorite crackers and stuff so I guess maybe I'll go with the very top shelf for things that are unopened and extras. Let's try that system. Great idea. I think I will put some uh, extra applesauces on top as well because I'm going to have that shelf for extras. Yes! You want different music, right? You want a different video? This is for me? You don't want it? Thanks. All right. Let me put something else. Let me, let me su switch your TV. You want something else to watch or you want to come Mama. in? Are you going to make a mess or are you going to help? So, uh, it makes sense now if I'm going to have a shelf with extras over there. Over there. That means that I can easily grab like um, this, right? These apple sauces and have them upstairs because these are extra. Oops, my crackers. I don't want to ruin them. I guess I need to put this first. Okay, these are almond flour crackers from Costco. Look how nice it looks! Some extras over there, all organized, and now I know that that is an open stuff. Great. Uh, now these are open, and these also come in like two bags per package from Costco, so I always have one extra laying around, and sometimes I'm like, which one is open? So now I'm gonna have that extra shelf, and let's see what else can go next to the raisins, next to his wafers and he found some rice nice is it nice how nice is that now and very comfortable to grab right yeah i found this at dollar tree that are you know easy to grab behind over here and the sticker that was on it like a colorful sticker that was on it it came off so easily and did not leave any stains or anything so it does look neat the only thing is that blue lid i don't know why they made it blue but anyways Someone was eating crackers already, very dirty, but mama needs to film, so that's what's happening right now. Yeah? yeah. Oh, you happy? You feeling better? Yeah? Okay, let's continue. <laughs> also, I have some things that are labeled. Uh, for example, I needed some milled flour and I had millet, so I put it in a food processor blender and made a flour out of it, so now I have like this very um, Pinterest worthy sticker on it, millet, and this is just like a random jar that I saved from some cherries from Aldi. It's just something 
my family always did back at home you know it was not a thing back then to go and buy organization stuff so you just save the jars honestly I still feel so bad throwing glass jars because I feel like you can get so much use out of it and I used to be like hoarding them in the beginning like hoarding hoarding for real uh, now uh, I do need them sometimes you see like I use it for it because like I made a lot and what am I gonna do with it I might need it later so I guess I'm gonna have some kind of shelf with this now here is a leftover oatmeal which uh, we don't have this kind the still cut oats right now on hand but I guess I'm just gonna keep it also you see I got the jar from mixed nuts from Costco so I guess I'll put this another fancy label on it so I know what it is and just stick it in there um, it's so big though so I don't even know if I want to keep it in here but let's just not concentrate on one little thing let's try to go through all of it and then I'll see how it works and later I will definitely do an updated video update on how it all worked and how what didn't work for me and how we can I can we can together improve it and if you have any tips for me leave them down below if you have any cool pantry organization video suggestions that you used yourself definitely also leave those for me below because I need some of that and I did watch some videos prior to this but because this is my first time and every kitchen is different everyone's you know supplies food everything is different and whatever you are willing to spend on the organization and the space everything is different so uh, it's not that easy figuring it out like on the fly right now so yeah let's just stick it in here like is this hot chocolate even no yeah it just expired a month ago would you drink a hot chocolate that expired a month ago it's not like i want to drink it now but i think i'll i'll hold on to it because it's a really good stuff it's layered superfoods very cool and healthy hot chocolate it has a functional mushrooms in it so I guess I'll try to remember. You see, now at least I can see what I have, so I can use it up, and whenever I want something chocolatey, maybe I can grab this instead of actual chocolate. <laughs> Look at my little helper. He wants to have pots on the bottom shelf. I don't know about that, Leonardo. This also expired like a month ago, and we almost never eat coconut. What happened? But I feel like I want to hold on to it. On the other hand, I barely ever used it. And I had it for like a couple of years now, I think. So I think it has to be trashed. I still feel bad throwing things. And I truly try my best to avoid that, wasting food. And I think I've been doing pretty good with it, always actually. But even better in the last few years because, you know, when when you get married and then you learn like how much food you need together and how to run your own household and how to shop that's really my goal but I think I think this does not deserve a space in my pantry something that I don't eat and something that is expired and is not super you know nutritious like I told you about the cool chocolate so unfortunately this is trash now what I wish I had some containers for are these chocolate chips for example just for baking and this is just like so uncomfortable this packaging is ripped open and it can fall out any second I don't have anything like Leonardo no okay I need to stop him from doing this no <sighs> toddlers have two toddlers now he's not very hard but he's a toddler and it's hard to do anything with a toddler by the way yes he's having his um tv time now but we're having a birthday party later this afternoon pool birthday party so he'll definitely get his fun time and outside time so it's just mama's work time right now by the way he's been liking tv more than before it's kind of good <sighs> another thing here it's not expired but it's been open and mm, was freeze-dried mango and it got saggy Leonard doesn't like it I don't like it nobody likes it I do have a closed package that is all fine and maybe one day I'll be in the mood for it or somebody else and definitely keeping that actually going all the way on that top shelf which I'm already loving so that I know what's closed but this is trash here 
has some prunes and I don't see an expiration date on here well yeah I do they're expired I don't have any other prunes and it's not like I desperately need them every day yeah they expired a long time ago and I think this is trash now if we're gonna need them we'll buy one day new ones because like why would I use prunes that expired one year ago have some open quinoa have some collagens that I don't drink but my husband's family drinks uses I think I'm ready to unload another drawer to, so that I can see what else I'm working with and that's the drawer over here let's just go through it over here on the floor so I actually want to put potatoes and onions and garlic on the floor over there so I know what I'm doing with these I have a ton of unopened pasta another unopened pasta I wish I had more oh my god so dirty um, more space for unopened things uh, sugar mm, maybe I'll put in one of the containers I'll, I'll see because I have another sugar that is really needed in a container then I have sardines I know not many people like this but this is so healthy and in Ukraine we just eat them you know normal every day not every day okay but like weekly monthly basis at least in my family we did and it feels like everybody loves sardines but it's like a common food that's why I still like it and I'm glad I do because these are extremely good these are like the fatty fish that has all of those omega 3s uh, and this is a good quality one from cost because they're on sale currently um so what else is here i've got some random bag that fell out from the junk drawer on top over there this one um and over here i have my the extra brown sugar i need to put somewhere else to empty the container i have this pink salt from costco and I have here another container that I saved and I put in here some red lentils. Uh, I need to put uh, my fancy sticker over here. And I have this. It's open. Yeah, this is open. And I have this Peruvian sauces for cooking all the Peruvian foods that I cook in this house. And I have a lot of them, so we definitely need <laughs> some kind of organizer, some kind of box to put them in. Then I have these cool chickpea and red lentil legume rice like I'm, I'm making like um risotto out of it from uh, a cookbook five ingredient cookbook from Bobby from Flav City on YouTube and more sauces more sauces coconut oil over here that's great stuff so now I've got some random sauce that I was it was given to me do you know what i can cook with this maybe something on the healthy side i know the sauce is not healthy but if you have any suggestions for me uh any links to recipes leave them for me down below please because i have a whole jar and why won't i use it right now these are the things that need the container this is sugar i believe and it's really like dropping all over the place and then there is some regular flour and there is this powdered sugar that I, I'm not even sure is good enough or actually also needs a container uh, and I have some other stuff it's my favorite almond flowers that I use a lot I have this corn we bought a long time ago never made it Peruvian corn need to make it somehow and then I have the beca flowers the beca stars that I use a lot and I uh, have this stuff that could also use some container wow i need more stuff that could use the container than i thought and then some more condiments they will have to go in the condiments drawer by the way i keep my um you know spices and stuff over here have like a shelf here and um i can't see them all i could definitely use some you know like spinning rack or something but that's what it is for now and then they're gonna go over there and then all this stuff is still here because obviously I cannot go through it now and eventually I will and we'll find its own separate home because I'm gonna go through another closet in our hallway one day and then they will find space anyways this is all the stuff I'm working with uh, there is nothing to throw away this is all good stuff you see because I do go through my stuff often I have uh, these 
Mexican wedding cookies from Costco, which are actually really, really good from Siete. Like super good quality cookies. Um, there's not many of them, but I'm just gonna keep them in the packaging. So this stuff stays here, obviously. And I have this huge bag of chips that I don't even know how it's gonna fit in the pantry. Um, but yeah, and I love this plane. Is it all? I mean, it's more than enough, so I guess it could be really all because there is no other drawers around here with the food. How fun! So this is my basket with sauces. Peruvian sauces, ajia amarillo, y panca. This is like extras, right? Because I do keep uh, open ones in the fridge, so I guess I, I can put it somewhere high up. I guess this can work. It's fine. It's okay. Leonardo is on fire here, talking his baby language, speaking his baby language, but there's danger, like these open things, I need to <laughs> remove ASAP. Here, you see, I use this like a Tupperware as a container. So that's another great tip from me, the organization tip. Um, so I'm gonna open that up, put it there, and then I have another container like this with all this stuff that I'm gonna just take out and put potatoes in there, and that's all. I ended up putting here some of those things that I showed you that we don't usually keep on hand. Some things that we don't replenish all the time. I think I'll stick this in as well. And uh, these are actually good. This is uh, something I can use whenever I don't have um, mac and cheese ready. This is uh, quick powdered good quality cheese from Ennis. My god, what a great toy. Look, he's trying to <laughs> make it fall out. Maladies! Okay, this goes somewhere here with the random stuff. Let's see. Still figuring it out. Okay, that's nicer. And then I'll try to fix this.
Okay, I'm done with putting all the food over here. So this is how it turned out. Here is extras, everything unopened. Here is all the open stuff, including baking, grains, and everything together. These are just like huge bags of chips and snacks that are open. Here is snacks for kids and us. You see, I use those Tupperware containers, works great. Uh, here is also some random stuff. And here I did use the space and just put the potatoes and onions and put some of the other stuff that I rarely use. Uh, like everything here except of the rice that is very accessible over there. I use rarely. There is the flour, the almond flour over there. Uh, and this is so much better now. Can you tell? Now at least it's all food. We'll see how this works for me. And I hope this gave you some motivation to clean out your own pantry or maybe some other drawer or room or a closet or anything at all because I'm sure that almost everybody needs some of that in their life. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave your comments down below. And I wanna wish you to have a clean, organized and peaceful home and I'll see you next week.